Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building. Welcome to the Empire. Thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I am going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Leo. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. Um, if this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space and we can go ahead and get started. Hey, Leo. What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Everything's good over here in the Empire. Thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Hey, y'all. I'm a Leo, um, a Leo Venus. Yeah, so I got some Leo in my chart, in my big six. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space and we'll go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages for my Leos today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. Um, thank you, Spirit. Oh, I ask that you protect my Leos as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, so this reading is going to be for um, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, everyone is welcome here. So if you just happen to stop by this um, channel and you're not a Leo, you're more than welcome. And this message is for you. So let's see what's going on with our Leo energy today. What's going on with our Leos today, Spirit? Give me some energy on our Leos today. What's the energy for our Leos today? Mmm. Mmm. What's going on for our Leos today? Okay. Give me something for our Leos. What's the energy for our Leos today, Spirit? Energy for our Leos today. What's the energy for our Leos today? Ooh, what's the energy for our Leos today? Okay. What's the energy for our Leos today, Spirit? Give me some energy for our Leos. What's going on with our Leos today, Spirit? What's going on with our Leos? Give me some energy for our Leos. Oh, that's too many cards. What's going on with our Leo? Oh, okay. Oh, somebody want to start talking. You know, I was doing Aries and their energy was very stubborn. I couldn't come out, but are you going to be stubborn today too, Leo? Come on. Give me some. Oh, that's too many cards. Yeah, I didn't say that many. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say throw the whole deck. I didn't say throw the whole deck, Leo. Come on. Come on. Give me. What's the energy for my Leo today, Spirit? Give me some energy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What else? Give me one more for my Leos. One more for my Leo spirit. One more. One more. Give me one more for my Leo spirit. Give me one more. Ooh, that is too many. Leo, y'all got a lot of talk. Y'all have a y'all throw chakra is definitely not blocked. Y'all want to talk about something. What is it? I'm I'm curious to know. What's going on? What's one more card, spirit? Okay, I'll take that one. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> One more card. Okay. Okay. It says, oh, this is the same thing. The same exact cards came out in um, Aries video. So, Leo, are you dealing with an Aries? Huh. It says, release the inner rebel in you. Be yourself and create your own universe. It's about being your true authentic self. Um, you might be going through a transformation. We got the number 23 um, that uh, reduces to five. So definitely some major changes, some transformation. Um, 32 could be significant to you. Um, so somebody might have been awakened to something. Um, you cast a spell with your existence. Somebody is uh, manifesting. So 15 is the number here. Could be significant. 51. Um, reduces to, uh, 15 reduces to 6. So 6 might be significant to you. Uh, somebody might need to get balanced, grounded, you know, get aligned in their chakras. But definitely um, you looking good out here. Looking radiant. Um, you are manifesting your hopes and desires. So somebody might like butterflies because there's butterflies in both of these period, uh, pictures, but the butterfly also symbolizes transformation. So I feel like somebody is definitely going through some type of transformation and need to release their true authentic self so they can create um, a universe that they're happy with. 
but you are uh, definitely have the ability to manifest uh, like you're a master manifester. It says, awaken the magic of your creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feeling. So somebody might need to get in touch with their um, emotions. So number three is here. So somebody's definitely going through an awakening. Yeah, somebody is, um, could be a healer, a light worker. Um, somebody could have... Um, a star seed, you could be some somebody's awakening, but definitely somebody has the ability to manifest. Somebody, um, yeah, okay, let's see what's going on, Leo. What's going on with my Leos today? Okay, oh, so Leo, whatever it is you're doing, keep on doing it because I see victory and success coming towards you. Um, uh, recognition at the six of wands energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're gonna um, be victorious, making a lot of progress. Um, you know, um, very self-confident. Yeah, look, both of these people in this car look very confident about themselves, especially this one here. She looks so confident in herself. Looks beautiful, very glowing, radiant. This person looks very confident too. You know, you confident in the direction you're going. Um, you're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling, you know, focus on self-care, self-love. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people see you. Yeah. It says you cast some spells with your existence. So you walk into the room and light it up. It says magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. So it ain't on you. It's in you. Whatever it is, um, people see you. Um, and you might need to just awaken this creative spark. Just be this, you know, rebel. You know, let that lion out in you. Okay. Look, it says knight of wands. It's uh, knight of cups is up uh, on the split. So, somebody might be wanting to come and make your love offer. Somebody has a lot of love for you or you have a lot of love for someone. So, you might be receiving an um, uh, offer because somebody might want to be victorious with you because we still have that six of wands on the bottom of the deck here. Somebody wants to um, give you public recognition. So, you might be receiving an award, maybe a pillar of your community. Um, hmm. Maybe a spiritual mentor. Hmm. Yeah, but somebody is feeling left out in the cold. You know, somebody wants to bring you a love offer. Maybe you have some struggles with your finances. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. What's going on with my Leos? What's going on with my Leo spirit? What's going on with my Leos? Give me some energy on my Leos. Tell me what's going on with my Leo spirit. Okay, we got, oh, oh. Why is this? I swear these two cards came out in Aries. So I feel like you, you, you're you dealing with Aries somewhere. Uh, Aries somewhere, highly aspected in your chart. Um, So we got Cancerian energy here. Um, And also Leo, you done showed up in your own reading. Yeah, so I feel like you are being defensive or blocking somebody from your energy, a two of cups connection. Yeah. So you possibly been having challenges in, in uh, a two of cups connection or a partnership. Hmm. So you, mm, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Hmm. You know. But the universe is urging you to embrace your feelings. Um, open up. You might need to open up your heart chakra. You might need to get your heart chakra aligned. Hmm. Let's see. Thank you, spirit. Oh, my God. I swear. <laughs> oh, somebody is feeling some regret, sorrow, and loss about this connection. Somebody you blocking. Somebody you um, um, being defensive with. So, could be some third-party energy here. So, you might be feeling disappointed about a Two of Cups connection that you were in. Feeling some loss. loss. Hmm. Somebody might feel like they failed you in the Two of Cups connection. 
Okay, but I think I see the um, Queen of Swords here. We got um, Scorpionic Energy here, and we also have Fire. We got um, Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius. Hmm. No, oh, Libra, Virgo, actually. So this card say, but <laughs> Libra for sure. Um, let's see. What else? So you received truth and clarity about something and you had to cut somebody off. Now they feeling regret, sorrow, and loss because you are uh, standing up for yourself. Letting, releasing this inner rebel inside of you. Yeah, somebody feeling left out in the cold because we got this five of pentacles here. So five of pentacles, somebody's feeling abandoned. Taurian energy. Somebody could be experiencing a loss in their finances, but um, somebody definitely in isolation worried about this connection. So I have the Six of Pentacles here. I see you very balanced in your finances. Oh, Taurus strong in here. Um, and you're looking for equal give and take in a connection. So maybe somebody was given to two because we, we got this five of cups here indicating that somebody was paying attention, focused on third parties and uh, turned their back on a two of cups connection because here you are as the two of cups. You, you're here as a two of cups. Yeah. And you receive some clarity and you cut this person off. So now they're feeling left out in the cold because they was given to, to more than one person. Yeah, they got options. We got the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could have been creating illusions. Yeah, or entertaining other opportunities. Hmm. Somebody might need to make a choice between two. Oh, well, there's some, definitely some secrets here because we got the moon card here. But something was definitely illuminated to you about this connection. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. So some you you found out something about something. Some secret somebody was keeping. Let's see what else. Um the number 18 reduces to nine coming to conclusions. We got um Piscean energy here. Uh-huh. Somebody was married or married and juggling. This person was married and juggling. You found out because you felt like this is your soulmate. This person was juggling you with someone else. Or could have been in a marriage. Or you could have been dealing with a Taurus. Definitely Taurus is heavy here. But this person, whoever it is, was juggling. We got Capricorn energy here. Hmm. Yeah. So this person needs to make a choice between two different people. You and someone else. Um, this person had, you know, it's up and down in the emotions trying to figure out. they they not stable in the emotions. they trying to balance um life money juggling their money could be experiencing financial loss trying to give to two people or maybe with someone for finances because we have highly focuses on on the pinnacles here you know somebody might be stable in 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 a connection in a um higher level commitment a marriage or what have you and unable to balance multiple priorities. So something came out. They weren't able to prioritize you because they was already in a marriage. Hmm. So now they need to make a decision because you cut them off. You uh, stood up for yourself um, and cut, cut them off. Yeah. You, you release this inner rebel. You got to create your own universe. You know, you healing. Focus on yourself, self love. You know, you know you the shit. Look, magic flows, huh? Magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. You know you the shit. You confident about yourself. You know who you are, and you're not gonna accept anything less than what you deserve. So you definitely setting some boundaries here with this Queen of Swords. You're like, no, I ain't with the shit. <laughs> No, I'm not with the shit. Don't try me. Okay. Look. So, yeah. 
This person is holding on to somebody for finances because it fell right up under the five of pentacles right next to the two of pentacles. So somebody is juggling, having some financial difficulties. So somebody holding on to a connection for finances. That's why they can't come to you because they married. They don't have, they, they feel like they can't come towards you without no money. <laughs> they know they got the level, have, have you know, yeah. So this person might you you might be you're holding back from this person for sure. You setting these um being defensive, you know. This has been a challenge. This person definitely have you in competition with someone else, but you you feel like oh no I'm not competing where it's no comparison. Cause look at you you casting spells on people. Uh huh. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I know that's right, Leo. I know that's right. <laughs> This person is wanted to keep you blinded to what was going on. They wanted to keep you in this mental prison. Wanted to keep you bound to them. Hmm. They wanted. They want to keep you entrapped. You know. They want to hold on to you or somebody holding on to them, entrapping them. Because they need to. They. They. If they leave this situation, they might be having some financial loss or some struggle. So they hold on. So somebody might feel entrapped because they maybe they are um, very wealthy, able to give. Yeah, so somebody is sharing wealth with somebody. Mm -hmm. And this person they with might be very generous with the money. So they like, uh, -uh I can't leave that. But you like, uh, uh, I ain't with it either. So, <laughs> you know, I'm holding back. You holding on and I'm holding back. Sorry. You know, and this person is feeling regret, loss, you know. Yeah, and this is very disappointing to you too. They disappointed you turned their back. You turned you turned your back on them. So Capricorn energy here. Shoot. Oh, what is going on, Leo? Okay. Now, somebody is watching you. Maybe somebody's watching them. Maybe they in a partnership with somebody else, married to somebody else. Definitely marriage here. Hmm. We got the two the two of cups and the hierophant here. Somebody is married. Hmm. Yeah. So somebody might want to come communicate with you, but they don't know um, how you going to receive them because you've been so defensive. Hmm. You in, you in control of the situation. They trying to control the situation by keeping you in the dark in this uh, moon energy. But you use your intuition. It was time it, you was called to use your intuition, and you figured out this person was keeping secrets. You come to the conclusion this person was keeping secrets, keeping a marriage secret. So this person is, um, and you're very defensive with this person. You got your sword drawn in both pictures, the the queen and page of swords. You you're very defensive with this person, and somebody wants to come communicate with you, but they just don't know how. Because you, you, uh, they, they, they don't want to feel your wrath. They, this, you, they know you're gonna release this inner rebel, right? They know you feisty. I feel like you a feisty thing, a confident thing. You know, very smart, and intelligent, very intuitive. You know how to set clear boundaries, and you're not taking nobody shit, right? Hmm. So you definitely hold back being stingy <laughs> with your energy and your time. Or maybe this person was very stingy with their energy and time because they was in something that connection with somebody else. But they watching you. Somebody is watching you from afar. Mm -hmm. They trying to figure out how to come communicate with you so they can try to restore the balance back in this connection. Hmm. Yeah. Here goes um, the three of pentacles here. So they want to collaborate with you. They want to build something with you, but they are already building with somebody else. Hmm. So maybe somebody else is watching them, but they want to come. They want to, they want to, they're trying to figure out how to, um, work on this. They want to put work in with you, but they they can't give you equal give and take because they in a connection with someone else. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, Leo. Okay. So yeah, you setting clear boundaries here. This person wants to come in and fight for you, but 
<clears throat> they have to release something else to be able to do it. So this person trying to, you know, gain the courage to come towards you and communicate with you. Hmm. Because they want to fight for this connection, but, um, hmm, look. The World of Fortune said, <laughs> it's coming to an end. You, you, you know, a, a, a cycle is ending here. You know, somebody could be receiving karma for something they did, you know, being left out in the cold and loss of finances. You know, it's a lot of ups and downs with this person. You know, you've been, uh, this has been an ongoing battle with this person. So this person, but luck is turning in your uh, favor. You're being protected from this energy because, um, <clears throat> The universe knows that this person is being underhanded. Juggling. Okay, look. Oh, look at what come out. The five of swords. Yes, because this person being underhanded. Yeah. Sneaky. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to keep, you know, create illusions for you. Probably told you that they was going to, you know, marry you or build something with you. They wanted to collaborate and build something with you. Why they out here married to somebody else? Hmm. Yeah. Now this person feeling defeated because you you didn't let them out in the cold. You didn't cut them off with this five pentacles. You holding back from them with this four of pentacles. You you know. You like no. You you with this um seven of wands. You like no. I'm you you protecting yourself and protecting your energy from this person because they're not right. Oh, mm, look here and look what we got, Leo. Mm-hmm. We got. The hangman and the uh, nine of pentacles here, right? So you was in um, deep thought about this and contemplation. You, you, you know, you seeing things from a different perspective. You, you was, this person, you was enlightened about something. And this person feels trapped in the situation they're in because they need to be there for, for, for stability. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So you didn't gain some deep insight about this situation because you used your intuition. And you you let it go. And for this person to come towards you, they're going to have to surrender something. They're going to have to surrender this other connection because you're not going to stand for anything less. You the, you, the, you the queen out here. You the empress out here. Look, you in this, you this goddess energy, right? Right? Yeah, you going through this transformation, and you're like, hey, I'm abundant. Look, this is pre-Empress, okay? The Nine of Pentacles. We got um, Aquarius out here. We got um, um, the Hangman. Um, shoot. <laughs> um, water. I think, what is... um. The hangman is um, Pisces, Pisces energy, water energy here. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, and then we have Sagittarius, Capricorn. Um, we have Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Leo, you done showed up in your own energy, too. And this um, Wheel of Fortune, luck is on your side. And you are headed towards abundance, you know. Independent. You're very independent. You, um self-sufficient financially stable hmm. you're reaping the fruits of your labor yeah so yeah this person might have you in your feelings at some time at one point but you turn this pain into power you know you're releasing this burner okay look look i'm gonna take all of them too because look Oh, we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person is feeling stuck in whatever situation they're in. And it's for money. They stuck. That, yeah. And they bored. They bored where they are. They're not happy. They are not happy. And um, we have the star. This person wants to um, heal this situation. They want to bring balance back into this connection. 
Yeah. So they want this renewal with you, but they know they got to come correct. They can't come in here with this energy. Um, look, see the temperance card, the star here. Oh, this is divinely guided too. This is your soulmate. So this person chose somebody else over you at some point or, um, well, they didn't make no choices here. Somebody was in a marriage and possibly you met this person, um, and didn't know this person didn't say, but I see you healing yourself going through this renewal. Focus on just focus on your spirituality because we say awaken the magic of creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings, getting in touch with the universe, right? You got good fortune coming with this uh will of fortune, the star. You got temperance out here. Hmm. You 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 focus on finding your purpose in life while this person around here acting a fool. Okay. <laughs> You know, bored and shit. So, look, the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You know, this person wants a new, passionate beginning with you, but you, uh, re you releasing this rebel in yourself, uh, tapping into your creativity, going towards a new creative spark, mm -hmm. going towards your desires, going towards your new beginnings. Yeah, yeah. And now this person is feeling stress, anxiety, worried, and want to take a leap of faith. But your cup is closed. <laughs> You focus on, oh, I know that's right. Come on through. See, this person now is feeling stress, worry, anxiety about this connection. Because they they know they about to lose you. Yeah, because you, you, you didn't cut them off. You out here want to be single, sexy, and free. But this person wants to take a leap of faith and come towards you. But they know they was reckless and careless with you. Yeah, but they want to take a leap of faith and, and see... Where it goes, because they want to fight for this connection. They they feel like you are the star. They feel like that you are um, their soulmate. Their, you know, you you have a mutual attraction to one another. Um, you bring this person peace, harmony. And they don't have that in this connection they in. They don't have that. So they want this new passion beginning with you, but they can't sleep. They worry. So they're taking a leap of faith and, and hoping that um, the universe will allow them a second chance with you. But I see you pouring into yourself, focus on self-love, very um, compassion, nurturing, emotionally balanced. You pouring into yourself, you healing. Yeah, with this hemp, you know, you, yeah, you healing. The star, the temperance, and the queen of cups. You healing and moving towards your new beginning, your new passionate beginning, and focusing on your long-term investments, right? Because you're about to be in this nine of pentacles energy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, here go the death card. You going through a transformation and a rebirth, and you manifesting every all your uh, wishes and dreams, your hopes and your desires, and you gonna have wish fulfillment, right? And this person needs to make a choice. Or you made a choice about this person. You had to make a difficult decision, but you know that releasing this person was the best thing for you. Because you can't attract abundance with no person that's already married. You can't be in no situation and think that God, you know, um, the divine God is going to um, bless you and you in a marriage with somebody else. You're not going to get no wish fulfillment like that. You'll get karma um, fooling with somebody else's husband. So or wife hmm. um so you you ready to create your, create your own universe you know coming out of these turbulent waters with this person okay that's what i have oh okay i did some good cards on y'all leo i was interested i was nosy i be nosy yeah i be nosy let's see let's get some closing closing um messages and we'll wrap it up leo yeah but I see you out here looking single, sexy, and free. Yeah. Since I am expressive. Ooh. Yeah. Nurturing yourself. Loving on yourself. Waking up that rebel. Okay. I see you. Okay. So we have um, the number 27. I am expressive. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or 
the world at large. So yeah, you could be with this um, Hierophant energy. You might be uh, a spiritual mentor, you know, because you're going through this transformation. You might be, um, yeah, getting to, you know, tapping into your spirituality, helping people, you know, collaborating with other people, putting in work to build something. Yeah, you're very creative. Mm -hmm. Getting this new creative spark with this Ace of Wands. Yeah, okay. And it says, um, zero, I am limitless. There is, no, is no end, there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. I know that's right. Look, yeah, you manifesting. Yeah, with this magician energy. Yeah, and you tapping into your spirituality. Yeah, uh huh. I am practical. Number fourteen. You are open minded and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. Yes. Yeah, so here you are in this uh, Queen of Swords energy, using your intelligence, using your intuition, blocking and setting you know, boundaries, you know, cutting people off that does not serve your highest good. Okay, Leah. So, yeah, you standing here, cast spells on people, tapping into your own magic, tapping into your own creativity, getting in touch with the universe, tapping into your spirituality. So that's what I have for you, um, Leo. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.